So I'm uh, not, uh, talking about the regional monetary cooperation after the global financial crisis uh, by uh, focusing on uh, current uh, currency turmoil of the East Asian currencies uh, during and after the global financial crisis and the regional monetary cooperation in East Asia uh, against uh, uh, future currency crisis. So uh, I'm uh, talking about uh, these contents. Uh, at first, uh, uh, I would like to uh, show the movement of the exchange rate uh, of the East Asian currencies during and after the global financial crisis. Uh, I will uh, point out an asymmetric responses of the East Asian currency to the global financial crisis. Uh, also, I would like to uh, explain the reason why uh, East Asian currencies have uh, asymmetrically re reacted to global financial crisis. <clears throat> so I'd like to uh, point out uh, coordinated, uh, coordination failure in currency uh, policy among the East Asian countries, as well as uh, active intra-regional capital flows in East Asia conducted by the uh, American and European investment banks. So related with the East Asian currency issue, and I have to uh, touch upon the uh, uh, renminbi issue. Uh, the Chinese government made announcement uh, of the adapting the money floating exchange rate system with reference to currency basket uh, on uh, July 21st, 2005. So, but the renminbi has uh, kept fixed to the US dollar uh, after the global finance crisis. So, and I will explain some results of my empirical analysis on effects of, of the renminbi on the current account of the, uh, China and the neighboring countries, you know, which include Japan and Korea. Lastly, I talk about regional monetary cooperation in Asia. Uh, I would point out uh, uh, some lesson uh, regarding the China initiative, which was established for our regional monetary cooperation in 2000 to discuss about some points beyond the limitation of the chamber initiative. So in conclusion, I, I will give some policy proposals uh, for strengthening regional monetary cooperation in East Asia. Now, so at first, I'd like to show movement uh, in exchange rates of East Asian currencies. I will use the Asian monetary units and the AMU deviation indicators as a measurement uh, of the exchange rates of the East Asian currencies. So AMU and the AMU division indicators are available from the website of the Research Institute of Economy, Trade and Industry and the Hitotsubashi University uh, GOC, uh, GCOE pro, uh, pro, uh, program. So AMU uh, is the uh, weighted average of the East Asian uh, currencies, uh, which include the ASEAN 10 plus China, Japan, and Korea. And the uh, AMU deviation indicator uh, shows the position of the each East Asian currency against the AMU uh, based on the benchmark period, uh, that is the 2000 and 2001. So this uh, table shows the shares and the weights on each of the East Asian currencies for AMU. Uh, the shares uh, are based on the share of the regional trade volume and the GDP measure at uh, patent power parity. Now, so for example, in, uh, a share of the China is 34 percentage, uh, Japanese share uh, is 28 percentage, and the uh, Korean share is 10 percentage. Now, so this figure uh, shows uh, uh, movement in exchange rates of AMU in terms of the currency basket of the US dollar and the Euro as well as the uh, US dollar and the Euro. So AMU has been appreciating against the currency basket of the US dollar and the Euro since August 2008. So, and AMU has been appreciating against the US dollar uh, since May 2009 after it depreciated against the US dollar from uh, 2008 to uh, April 2009. So and the AMU had had twice appreciation against the euro during the uh, and after the global finance crisis. Uh, so both of the movements in terms of the US dollar and the euro uh, reflect movements in exchange rates of the euro uh, in terms of the US dollar. Uh, so this figure shows the movement of the uh, euro and the sterling pound against the US dollar. Uh, so 
uh, at uh, the Lima shock and the uh, Greek fiscal crisis, uh, these currencies, the euro and the sterling pound, uh, depreciated so much you know, against the US dollar. So when we look at uh, uh, AMU deviation indicators of the East Asian currencies, we can find uh, asymmetric reactions of the East Asian currencies to the global finance crisis. So let, uh, uh, let's show now, uh, this figure. Now, so this figure shows the uh, uh, movement of the nominal AMU deviation indicator of the, each of the East Asian currencies. Now, so uh, red color line. So red color line shows the Japanese yen. Now, so Japanese yen has been uh, overvalued in terms of the AMU since the October 2008. Now, so uh, one hand, uh, pink color line shows the uh, Chan Yuan, uh, Chan Renmin B. Now, so Chan Renmin B. Uh, appreciated uh, a little uh, during uh, 2008, but uh, after that, uh, uh, Renmin B uh, depreciated uh, uh, from the 10 percentage uh, over variation to the uh, 0 percentage uh, over variation. The, so, and uh, when we look at uh, Korean won, the, so this uh, purple color line showed uh, uh, Korean won. So before the uh, global financial crisis, Korean won uh, was uh, overvalued uh, by the 20 percentage uh, compared with the AMU. But the global finance crisis, uh, uh, after the global financial uh, uh, crisis uh, occurred, uh, Korean won uh, depreciated so much from the two per 20 percentage over variation uh, to the uh, 30 percentage under variation. Then so that uh, we can find the uh, uh, asymmetric uh, re response of the uh, Japanese yen, the BNB, and the Korean won to the global financial crisis. And uh, this graph shows the weighted average of the uh, AMU deviation indicators uh, in terms of the nominal exchange rates. Now, so we can find the trend of the increasing uh, deviation indicators. Also, the, when we look at uh, uh, similar uh, measurement, uh, weighted average of the AMU deviation indicators in terms of the real exchange rates, we can find uh, uh, trend uh, of the increasing uh, uh, weighted, increasing the deviation among the uh, East Asian currencies. So, so I can point out the two factors uh, as the background of the asymmetric reactions uh, of the East Asian currencies to the global financial crisis. The so first factor uh, is the different exchange rate system adopted uh, by the monetary authority of East Asian countries. And uh, the second uh, factor is uh, active regional capital flows uh, conducted by the uh, American and European financial institutions. Now, so regarding the active regional uh, capital flows, uh, it is said that uh, U US and the European financial institutions conducted the yen carry trades by borrowing the Japanese yen and investing in Korean won before the global finance, uh, finance crisis. So during the crisis, uh, they closed the yen carry trade and uh, Korea faced the sudden stops and uh, moreover the backward flows, capital flows uh, from Korea to the uh, other countries, uh, especially Japan and yen. And, uh, so, and uh, regarding the first factor uh, of the different exchange rate system adopted among East Asia, so we can show the uh, uh, variety of the exchange rates uh, that the monetary authority of the uh, East Asia countries adopted. Now, so, for example, uh, Japan and Korea adopt uh, free floating, uh, and uh, China uh, adapt, adapting uh, the money floating exchange rate system with reference uh, to currency basket. Uh, so, they, the government, the Chinese government, made announcement of the uh, renminbi reform uh, mm -hmm. on July 21, 2005. So, but uh, this classification uh, is uh, conducted by the uh, 
uh, IMF. And so uh, we should uh, uh, make, a, uh, make an empirical analysis on, uh, uh, on the, the re reality of the uh, exchange rates that uh, monetary authorities are adapting. And so we use the uh, Frankel wave methodology uh, to show the actual exchange rate regimes uh, that uh, uh, East Asian countries are adapting. And so we use uh, uh, this uh, uh, regression equation to show the uh, linkage, uh, how much linkage of the home currency with the US dollar, uh, with US dollar, the euro, uh, and the Japanese yen. And uh, we had a full sample from the January uh, 2000 to uh, February 2009. And, so, and uh, we uh, divide the full sample into the five sub, sub, uh, sub sample uh, periods. Uh, by you know, focusing on uh, uh, starting and carry trade, uh, lemming be reform on uh, uh, July 21st, 2005, and uh, closing the and carry trade, uh, and uh, uh, starting the uh, global financial crisis, uh, and uh, Lehman shocks on uh, uh, September 15th, 2008. So this, uh, these uh, tables uh, show the, uh, how much linkage, uh, how much relation uh, US, uh, Chinese yuan and uh, Korean won uh, have the US dollar, euro, and the Japanese yen. And so uh, when we look at the case of the uh, Chinese lending B, uh, we can find uh, uh, almost 100 uh, percentage linkage uh, between uh, Chinese uh, renminbi and the U.S. dollar. Now, for example, in a uh, full sample period, we can find a uh, drop uh, so coefficient on the U.S. dollar for the uh, renminbi uh, is uh, almost uh, 0 0.98, uh, almost 100 percentage. So, and uh, after the period three, uh, when uh, uh, Chinese government made announcement of the uh, renminbi reform. Uh, even after the period three, uh, we can find uh, almost uh, uh, 100 percentage of the linkage uh, of the uh, renminbi to the uh, U.S. dollar. Now, so, in contrast, so when we look at the uh, uh, Korean won, now, so the linkage of the Korean won uh, with U.S. dollar uh, is much smaller uh, than the renminbi. And uh, we can find uh, some linkage uh, of the uh, Korean won with the uh, euro and the Japanese yen. So especially uh, before the uh, global finance crisis, uh, before the global finance crisis, uh, renminbi, uh, sorry, uh, Korean won uh, has uh, some re linkage, uh, some relationship with uh, uh, Japanese yen. So, but uh, after the global financial crisis, uh, Korean won has no relationship with uh, Japanese yen because uh, Jap uh, I showed uh, uh, that the Japanese yen appreciates so much while the Korean won depreciates so much so that uh, uh, now uh, we have uh, uh, no linkage uh, between the uh, Japanese yen and the Korean won. And so, and uh, uh, next, uh, I'd like to explain some interesting uh, results of my empirical analysis on the effect of the renminbi on current account uh, of the China, Japan, and uh, Korea. Uh, so uh, we used the structure VR model uh, with uh, uh, contemporaneous uh, restrictions based on the neoclassical and the Cajun theories. Uh, are uh, used to investigate effect of the renminbi exchange rate on the current account of not only China, but also Japan and Korea. Now, so neoclassical theory means uh, uh, fresco uh, price model, uh, and while uh, Keynesian theory means uh, sticky price uh, model. Now, so, and uh, 
uh, we put uh, the five variables uh, into the structured VR model, uh, GDP, uh, exchange rate, uh, current account, interest rates, uh, and uh, U.S. factor, uh, United States uh, U.S. factors. So, and uh, uh, we use the uh, structured VR model uh, to analyze the impulse right. response to exchange rate shock as well as, well as the U.S. GDP shock. And uh, we conduct the factor decomposition of the current account of East Asian countries by the forecasting the error variance decomposition. And the sample period covers from the first quarter 1994 to the fourth quarter 2006. So this, these figures show the uh, impulse response of the current account. Uh, that is the effect of the, uh, some uh, macro macroeconomic uh, variables uh, on the current account of the China. Uh, so uh, I like to focus on the effect of the uh, renminbi of the Chinese current account. Uh, so in the short term, uh, Renmin B, if the Renmin B uh, appreciate uh, Chinese current account uh, should decrease in the short term. So, but uh, when we look at uh, in the long term, then, so they have no no uh, long term effect uh, of the Renmin B on the current account. And so, so it means that. Uh, uh, if the uh, Chinese government uh, appreciate the Lemon B, uh, so they have uh, no longer effect on the current account uh, from the Lemon B. So, and uh, when we look at the uh, uh, effect of the uh, GDP on the uh, current account, so we can find some uh, effect, uh, significant effects of the uh, GDP on uh, uh, renminbi. So it means that uh, uh, Chinese government, uh, if the uh, Chinese government try to uh, reduce the current account, mm -hmm. so they should uh, focus on uh, uh, GDP and uh, saving uh, rather than uh, exchange rates. Okay, that's so, and uh, this, this graph uh, shows uh, also the uh, effects of the uh, renminbi and the GDP on the Chinese current account uh, by looking at the variance decomposition of the current account. And so the result is similar, so that I, I like to skip uh, uh, explanation of the slides. And uh, when we look at uh, uh, effect of the renminbi of the uh, current account of the Japan and the Korea. And so right, uh, so left, left hand uh, graph showed the, uh, especially blue color line showed the uh, effect of the renminbi on the Japanese current account. And so if uh, renminbi appreciate uh, Japanese current account, uh, would, uh, would improve. Uh, so it means that uh, uh, B, uh, if the Jap uh, Chinese government uh, keep the B uh, at the level of the uh, US dollar, uh, it means that uh, uh, Japanese current account uh, should, uh, uh, should then worsen. Uh, so now we have a relationship in a be between uh, renminbi and the Japanese current account. So also the uh, so right hand uh, figure showed the uh, uh, effects of the renminbi on the uh, Korean current account. So also the, we can find the similar uh, results uh, on, in terms of effect of the renminbi on the Korean uh, current account. And so uh, I, can, uh, I can say that uh, revaluation of the B would have a relatively smaller contribution to reducing the uh, current account surplus of the GDP, uh, China. So GDP and the internal uh, savings are more important factor for reducing the current account surplus of the China. 
On one hand, the revaluation of the renminbi would improve the current account of the Japan and the Korea, uh, also in the some Asia, uh, ASEAN member countries. So, so let me uh, move on the uh, issue to related with uh, uh, current regional monetary cooperation in Asia. So Chiang Initiative, uh, CMI, was established uh, by the ASEAN Plus Three Financial Ministers uh, in 2000. Uh, and uh, the uh, chain initiative uh, includes a, a network of the bilateral currency swap arrangement for crisis management uh, and uh, surveillance process for crisis uh, prevention, uh, for example, the economic review and the policy dialogues, uh, ERPD of the ASEAN Plus Three, and held uh, by the uh, ASEAN Plus Three uh, Deputy, uh, Deputy Minister of the, uh, Finances. So, but in the, in the surveillance process, uh, they focus on the macroeconomic variables, uh, which include the GDP, uh, inflation rates, and the soundness of the financial sector. But uh, they missed, uh, they uh, don't care about uh, uh, exchange rates, especially inter-regional exchange rates among East Asian currencies. So, and uh, in 2010, uh, in March uh, 2010, uh, they uh, extend uh, developed uh, from the CMI to the CMI multilateralization, uh, they call the CMIM. Uh, so the CM CMIM uh, include the uh, uh, foreign reserve pooling among the ASEAN plus, uh, ten, uh, plus three countries, and uh, uh, they develop uh, multilateral decision-making process for implementing uh, current swap arrangement. So I like to point out that the uh, limitation of the chain initiatives uh, that include the uh, IMF ring. So IMF ring means that uh, if the one country uh, faced the currency crisis, uh, they should go to the IMF uh, in Washington, D.C., United States, uh, and uh, after the, only after the IMF decide to give the financial assistance to the current uh, crisis hit country of the ASEAN Plus Three, uh, we can, ASEAN Plus Three countries, uh, can complement, uh, implement uh, currency swap arrangement. Uh, to the currency crisis hit country. Now, so that is uh, I'm ring. Now, now, so that uh, we have uh, uh, one big problem uh, regarding uh, related with I'm ring. Now, for example, uh, during the global financial crisis, the Korean won depreciated so much, and the Korean government did not uh, implement the currency swap arrangement and the Chiang Mai initiatives. So, due to the IMF ring. Uh, but uh, uh, Korean government uh, rushed to uh, U.S. Federal Reserve Bank uh, in order to uh, conclude a new currency swap arrangement and implement uh, currency swap arrangement promptly. Uh, and uh, uh, on one hand, uh, Bank of Korea uh, has uh, concluded the currency swap arrangement in terms of the uh, Japanese and Korean won with the Bank of Japan, uh, separate, uh, apart from the uh, CMI. Now, so the reason is that uh, Korea experienced a uh, severe situation and the strict conditionality of the IMF in the Asian currency crisis uh, in 1997 uh, and 1998. And so that uh, uh, we could not uh, uh, implement uh, uh, currency swap arrangement for the uh, Korean uh, situation. And so uh, in 2009, IMF implemented, so, but uh, uh, in 2009, IMF uh, implemented a lending policy improvement, improvement uh, which included uh, cre uh, creating a flexible credit line as well as uh, uh, modernizing conditionality. So, but the Korean government did not uh, request IMF uh, any financial rescue, including the uh, flexible uh, credit line. And so, 
uh, given the limitation of the uh, CMI, uh, that is, that is uh, uh, IMF rank, uh, we should consider it is, it is necessary to reduce the eliminate the IMF rank of the current swap arrangement and the chain initiatives. So I found the uh, sign of the zero minutes, so that I have to rush to conclude. So uh, at the same time, it is necessary to establish the secretariat who make a surveillance over the East Asian countries and the implementation of the current swap arrangement in order that the CMI should not depend on the IMF surveillance. And under the surveillance of the CMI, interreligious exchange rates should be focused on now for the purpose, the AMU and AMU division indicators should be used for surveillance. So I have to not, uh, skip the uh, slide. And uh, uh, in conclusion, uh, I'd like to uh, give the policy proposal for strengthening regional monetary cooperation in East Asia after the global financial crisis. Now, firstly, uh, we should uh, start a policy dialogue uh, regarding intra-regional exchange rate stability to solve the coordination failure of the currency policy uh, among the East Asian countries in order to uh, stabilize the intra-regional exchange rates among East Asian currencies. Secondly, we should introduce surveillance over the exchange rate into the surveillance process and the chamber initiatives. Thirdly, now we should uh, reduce or eliminate the IMF ring uh, in order that uh, currency swap arrangements should be effective under the chamber initiative. The lastly, uh, we should establish the security arts the who make a surveillance of an East Asian countries and the implementation of the currency swap arrangement in order that the chamber initiatives should not uh, depend on IMF surveillance. Thank you very much.